Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Rave Exodus video and today we're gonna take some time some time actually to talk about the new unit Machina and Kurosame we're gonna go over their skills uh, whatever you guys want to use them and if you haven't pulled them yet uh, basically this video would help you uh, if you want to pull them or not so we're gonna start off with Mr. Machina uh, he's a dual wielder we're gonna go over his uh, TMR right here opposition and we're gonna open this page right here so you guys can see exactly what auto, uh, opposition does basically increases your attack by 35% when equipped with a sword increase attack by 15% and HP 10% when equipped with clothes so if you guys have lunate clothes uh, this can be actually really really good also at the beginning of the turn so right here auto cast opposition at the start of battle opposition basically gives you a chance to have increase in attack defense magic and spirit by 150 percent for one turn attack and defense magic spirit by 125 percent for two turns or a hundred percent for three turns at the start of the battle so the second you start the fight this is going to be casted on machina and it's going to be a chance of one of either three of those moves right here so we're going to go back to machina is a super TMR is a Excalibur it's a sword with 163 attack and it gives you dual wield so the second you equip that to your character you basically have dual wield equipped to the character so really really nice super TMR actually it's a really good sword 163 is actually pretty pretty damn sweet so let's go over the moves also you can equip daggers swords uh, great swords and katana hats clothes and uh accessories so no armor no elm so keep that in mind guys so let's go over his move he has dark side dark physical damage three times to all enemies uh dark physical damage one time as hp drain 30 percent to all enemies inflicts confused 20 percent chance it's a five hit move not that bad uh we're gonna go over the actual move that is really really good for him so right here siphon sword this is the good move uh, physical damage 1.5 as HP drain 30% to one enemy. Physical damage 1.5 as MP drain 30% to one enemy. And you have a chance to randomly break the defense and spirit by 70% 70, uh, 70 for one turn. A chance by 50% defense and spirit break for three turns. Or a 45% break to defense and spirit for five turns. So it's a little bit of random. But you guys can see a lot of those type 0 characters. Uh, especially Ace has a lot of random abilities that you're going to be casting. But nonetheless, uh, these breaks are actually really, really nice. So uh, if you want to break the defense and spirit. I guess that Machina could do a really good job on it. And also, really good attack and magic break. So on the same... Uh, same note, you can do a physical damage three times to one enemy. It's a five hit move again. You can randomly break the defense, uh, the attack and magic by 70% for one turn. Break the attack and magic by 55% for three turns. Or break the attack and magic by 45% uh, for five turns to one enemy. So these breaks right here are actually really, really nice. I really like the defense and spirit break. Just because you can heal back some HP and MP. And also that stunning slash. They're really, really good breaks. So you have a chance to go from 45% to 70%. Which is not too shabby at all. Uh, really nice move, Mr. Machina. Really nice moves to break. Uh, also, at 6 star, he gets Guardian Blades. Mitigate physical damage taken 20% for 3 turns to all allies. Chance to counter physical attacks. 50% chance, basically, with physical damage 3 times to 1 enemy. For 3 turns to all allies except casters. So this is actually pretty pretty nice. And he also has the same thing. But for magic mitigate magic damage taken 20% for 3 turns to all allies. And increase spirit break resistance 100% for 3 turns to all allies. So he can break the attack magic defense and spirit. And he can also help your party uh, survive with some uh, damage mitigation. Which is actually really really nice. So uh, Mr. Machina. You're looking pretty damn good, I gotta say. Then, you got the chaining move, Element Eager. Uh, physical damage, 5.2 to 1 enemy. Decreases fire, ice, and lightning resistance by 60% for 3 turns to 1 enemy, which is really, really nice. And, it can chain with Absolute Mirror of Equity. And I have it right here. Uh, if you guys want to chain that move, you can basically chain it with Dracula as well, or machina so basically these characters are the only two right now by the time of recording this video that can chain with each other 
so uh, not too shabby at all actually I really like the brakes and I really like the fact that you can help mitigate damage with him so uh, yeah not too uh, not too bad not too bad then the second you have him seven stars summon Adelon uh, basically all type 0 characters who are five star going to seven star basically have the same move you kill the character and you basically fill your uh, Esper gauge to the max so that's available on turn one and it's a four turn cooldown also level 105 you get awakening seven turn cooldown you can do you can cast that move on turn one restore 100 percent hp to caster increase the uh, attack by 200 percent for five turns to caster which is really nice decrease defense 30 percent for five turns to caster not that bad 30 percent you can uh, you can still survive with that and enables kills for five turn to caster rush blade and we're gonna go over the move rush blade right here physical damage five times would ignore defense 50 percent to one enemy and it's a chaining move so if you guys have two characters like that you can chain them together uh actually you know what i want to see if a rush blade uh yeah so right here yeah that's pretty much all we have so rush blade really good move and you unlock it for five thirds as we're going to go down here then uh the traits he has dual wield so really good he has innate dual wield uh also the super tmr don't forget gives dual wield to a certain character so you guys can give uh that sword to any other character which is really really nice then you get uh, chichiri's godfather increase hp by 30 percent auto wheel 60 hp with a 1.2 times multiplier per turn and recovers five percent mp per turn hometown survivor increases resistance to poison blind and disease really nice a former class second cadet increase attack and defense by 30 percent and increase evil mag by 20 percent all right power of the lc increase attack by 50 percent and you increase the lb gauge fill rate by 100 percent then when you equip him with his own tmr auto cast crystal chosen's one at the start of the battle and it's right here increase attack by 110 percent to caster mitigate damage physical damage taken five percent to caster and mitigate magic damage taken five percent to caster so really really nice when you uh equip him equip him with his own tmr and also you get increase in lb gauge one per turn and trust me you want to build up that lb gauge as fast as possible then yes brotherly bond increase mp by 20 percent attack by 40 percent really nice spirit 20 percent and a level 120 basically the grind is going to be worth it recover mp five percent per turn so you're gonna get 10% MP per turn, which is really, really nice as a uh, innate move. Increase modifier 1.5 to Dark Side, Element Eager, Siphon Sword, and Stunning Slash. So you're gonna be able to dish out a little bit more damage and increase the modifier on Rush Blade by 0.7 times multiplier. Also, increase equipment attack by 40% when dual wielding. So you're starting to do a little bit more damage, but this is where you really want this is where he really shines okay so his magic he has libra karata and tanja uh, tandaga which is not that crazy but his limit burst is actually really really nice uh it takes a little bit less chris not that much but you guys can build it pretty fast physical damage so seven star when you max it out physical damage seven times multiply with ignore defense 50 percent to one enemy and this is where it's beautiful decrease attack and magic by 79% for three turns to one enemy. So trust me, if you guys have this guy seven star, build up his limit burst to try to get as fast as possible. Because that attack and magic break for 79% for three turns is insane. It's insane. 79% for three turns is so strong. Sorry, and if you're able to get this limit burst every third turn, well, let's be honest, the boss will also never dish out damage to your party. So this break is actually really, really strong. I gotta say, I'm surprised by Machina. The breaks are actually really, really good. And if you're able to build him around this limit burst to get it every third turn, well, he's gonna be one insane character. So Machina, you get a thumbs up, boy. And if you guys have him, make sure you use him as a breaker because he is really, really, really good uh, breaker. So Machina thumbs up boy so let's move on to actually my favorite uh kurosame this is the one that i really love so he's a hybrid character so you have to build his magic and his attack as much as possible we're gonna go over his tmr ice blade, ice blade hilt it's an accessory gives you 50 uh, 50 mp raw attack 
40 raw and magic 40 raw and ice resistance by 50 percent but the super tmr this is where everything is beautiful it's a sword ice elemental attack 130 and magic 162 so this thing is really really good and uh, it's a really really strong sword guys this is no joke and uh yeah kurosame you look amazing boy you look amazing so let's go over the stuff that he can equip hats clothes or uh, light armor uh, robes and accessory he's able to wield daggers swords great swords katana and rods which is actually really really nice and this is the magic that he's able to use so let's go over the moves he has blizzard's sword uh ice hybrid damage eight times to all enemy it's a one eight move uh Zikin freezing shower basically you can chain with disorder and i have disorder right here uh you can chain with amelia prompto and another kurosame which is actually really really good where you can actually dish out a lot of damage because it's ice hybrid and it's to all enemies which is sick 45 mp move uh you have a chance to inflict sleep and petrify by 20 percent to all enemies so if you guys are using him in the arena that thing could be really really good also he has zikin cloudless rain water hybrid damage and now you have a chance to con uh, to inflict confuse and disease by 20 percent to all enemies same thing you can hit uh, you can chain it the same way as a disorder, if I'm not mistaken. That's 4255. Uh, no, not the same way, actually. Sorry. Uh, not the same way. So basically, you have to chain it with uh, Cloudless Rain uh, together. Then, definitive command. Increase attack and magic 110% for 3 turns to all allies. And increase ice resistance 70% for 3 turns to all allies. So he's able to help out the party to dish out a little bit more damage, which is really, really good. Then... This is the good move where you can uh, make him do a lot of damage. Instant Elf Freeze. You have a chance to cast Decrease Ice Resistance 100% for one turn to one enemy. Decrease Ice Resistance 75% for two turns to one enemy. And Decrease Ice Resistance 50% for three turns to one, uh, to, uh, to one enemy. Sorry about that. And Enable Skills for three turns. Caster Zikin Twilight Rain. So if I'm not mistaken, we have right here. Yeah, right here. So... Hybrid damage 24 times multiplier to one enemy and it chains with quick hit. That's insane. 24 times multiplier to one enemy. The damage that this guy is going to be able to dish out is crazy. So if you guys pulled for him, you guys are lucky because he is really, really good. Then he has Zekin Sudden Downpour and this move can chain with quick hit. So you guys can chain him with the boy Titus. Which is really, really nice. Hybrid damage, 12.6 time multiplier to one enemy. Which is really, really strong. But not as strong as this move right here with a 24 times multiplier. That's insane. Then, 6 stars. He also gets a uh, dual cast where you're going to be able to cast magic twice. He gets double Zekin where you can use Zekin skills twice in one turn. Which is really good since you can use these moves right here. And you can chain that move which is sick. Then... When you get him 7 star, summon Aedalon, uh, Aedalon, same thing as Machina, Ace. So you kill the caster and you fill your Esper gauge 100%. So they like killing themselves for their Esper, that's crazy. Then, 105 Ice Magic Unleashed on a 10 turn cooldown, available on turn 1, this is really strong. Increase Attack and Magic 200% for 5 turns to caster, increase Ice Resistance 100%. For five turns to caster, add ice element to physical attack. Five turns to caster, enable skills for four turns to cast triple Zekin, Zekin Twilight Rain. So you guys can use triple Zekin, so you can triple cast a uh, one, some of his moves, which is insane. Because if you're using two of him, a friend, and hit this one and yours, the damage you're going to be able to dish out is going to be so crazy. And uh, if you break the ice resistance by 100%, and then you're able to have a nice element on the character you can literally kill anything so fast this guy is insane insane then level 110 diamond rain six turn cooldown available on turn six ice hybrid damage 54 times multiplier to all enemies that's insane it's a 30 hit move so if you guys make it to turn six and uh, let's say you break the ice resistance by 100 percent for one turn to one enemy then you're lucky enough and you cast this move the amount of damage you're gonna dish out is gonna be insane so this guy damage multiplier right here 54 times 
That's crazy. That's crazy. If you guys... If I thought that... Where? Where is it? Where is it? Where's the move? Where's the move? Did I lose the move already? No, oh, it's right. Uh, where's the move? I think I lost it. Did I lost it? No, it's this one. Yeah. The Twilight Rain. 24 times multiplier is pretty crazy. But when you go here and you realize that it's 54 times multiplier, that's insane. Kurosame, you're one beast, my friend. You're one beast. Now, let's go over the traits. Increase attack and magic by 30% recover MP, 5% per turn, which is pretty nice. Uh, Flames of Life, increase magic by, uh, HP by 20%, sorry. Increase attack and magic by 150% for 3 turns when HP drops below 25%, which is really, really good. Increase MP 30%, uh, increases resistance to sleep, paralyze, and confuse, which is amazing. So you guys, you want paralyze and confuse innate in your characters, this is insane. This is really, really good. Uh, class 0, commanding officer, wow. This is amazing. Uh, Rubrum's trump card, increase attack and magic by 50%. Again, ice in, increase ice resistance by 30%. So you... Right here, he's getting a lot of passive where he can boost his attack and magic. So right here, in 8, he has 80%, which is sick. Sick, good. Then, right here, Rubrum, Tonberry uh, ton support, chance to counter physical attacks with thrust of death, uh, inflict death 30%, or deal physical damage 3 times to one enemy, which is not that bad, and he can counter magic attacks with the same move. Then, Ice Reaper. When you equip him with his own TMR, increase MP by 20%, increase Ice Resistance by 50%, which is pretty nice, and it's going to upgrade his LB. And his LB, a little bit like Machina, is pretty insane. Then, he's going to auto-cast the Ice Reaper at the start of the battle, and we're going to go over the move right here. Enable skills for one turn to caster, triple Zaken and Twi uh, Zaken Twilight Train. So on turn one, you can basically triple uh, cast some Zaken move, which is really, really nice. Then... 115, defense 120, uh, defense 120, <laughs> it gets defense 20%, then a level 120, intimidating stance, indeed, increase attack and magic by 20%, so he has another 100%, so 30% here, 50% here, and an extra 20% here, he's at 100% right now of extra attack and magic, increase equipment attack and magic 50% when single wielding any weapon, and increase accuracy by 25% when single wielding any weapon. This is insane. Kurosame, you're one destructive beast, my friend. Then, these are the moves that he's able to get. Thrust of Death, we saw what it does. The Ice Reaper, same thing. Uh, triple Zekin, use Zekin skills thrice in one turn. And uh, Zekin, Twilight Rain, Ice uh, Hybrid damage 24 times to one enemy. And it chains with quick hit. Then the magic, basically Blizzaja or Blizzaga. Bar Blizzaga, which is really, really nice because you can dual cast some of these moves right here. And he has Blizzaga Ice Magic Damage two times with consecutive increase. And it just builds up more and more damage up to six turns max. Woof! Then, let's go over the, the um, Limit Burst right here. So, if you have the upgraded version of the Limit Burst, what it does? Decreases Ice Resistance 100% for two turns to all enemies. Pretty nice. Ice hybrid damage 30 times to all enemies, so really, really strong move. And increase attack and magic 250% for 3 turns to caster. Wow. This is insane. Then, if you have just the regular version, it's still pretty good. Decreases ice resistance 100% for 2 turns to all enemies. Ice hybrid damage 30 times to all enemies. And increase attack and magic 250% for 3 turns to caster. This is insane. The amount of damage that you can build with this guy is crazy. Kurosame, if you guys have him 7 star, he is one disgusting beast. And uh, you know what? I was not expecting this from these Type 0 characters. And uh, I am actually thrilled. And uh, if you guys didn't pull for them and you wanted to pull for them, let, let's hope that this video helped you out make your mind that if you want them or not because let's be honest uh, Machina with his break is really really good and Kurosame uh, With the amount of damage that he's gonna be able to dish out is insane So guys, let me know down below If this video was helpful if you did enjoy this uh, unit review on uh, Machina and Kurosame if you are new to this channel, please subscribe down below 
leave a like on this video, comment, do everything that you need to do, and uh, let's get uh, let's get crazy because these units they're a lot more wild than I thought. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.